Hello again, and welcome to St. Paul's Lutheran Church here in Burlington, North Carolina. I am Pastor Hooks, and I am here in our church's historical room, as this is the room that contains our stained glass window depicting Luther's rose, which is right over there, and we'll take a look at that in a moment. Uh, that is, of course, the stained glass window that appears at the end of almost all of our Sunday service videos along with the blessing, uh, as well as the window that appeared at the beginning of this video. Uh, today is October 31st, and it was October 31st in 1517 that Luther posted his 95 Theses to the church door in Wittenberg, thereby serving as the catalyst for the Reformation in the history of the church. I thought it would be a good idea to observe Reformation today by taking a look at Luther's seal that he developed, also called the Luther Rose, uh, and reading the explanation of what this symbolism means. First, the black cross in the center. Luther writes, the first thing expressed in my seal is a cross, black within the heart, to put me in mind that faith in Christ crucified saves us, for with the heart man believes unto righteousness. Next is the red heart. Now although the cross is black, mortified, and intended to cause pain, yet it does not change the color of the heart. It does not destroy nature, it does not kill, but keeps alive, for the just shall live by faith, faith in the Savior. And now the white rose. But this heart is fixed upon the center of a white rose to show that faith causes joy, consolation, and peace. The rose is white, not red, because white is the ideal color of all angels and blessed spirits. And now the field of blue. This rose, moreover, is fixed in a sky-colored ground to denote that such joy of faith in the Spirit is but an earnest and beginning of heavenly joy to come, as anticipated and held by hope, though not yet revealed and all of this within the gold ring. And around this ground base is a golden ring to signify that such bliss in heaven is endless and more precious than all the joys and treasures, since gold is the best and most precious metal. Christ our dear Lord, he will give grace unto eternal life. Let us pray. Almighty God, we praise you for the men and women you have sent to call the church to its tasks and to renew its life, such as your servant Martin Luther. Raise up in our own day teachers and prophets inspired by your Spirit, whose voices will give strength to your church and proclaim the reality of your kingdom through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, gracious Lord, we indeed give you thanks that your Holy Spirit does reform and renew the church in every age. Pour out your Holy Spirit on your faithful people. Keep them steadfast in your word. Protect and comfort them in times of trial. Defend them against all enemies of the gospel. And bestow on the church your saving peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you.